What's up everybody, Alex Bracky here with the Valor Group. And today we are talking about buyer and seller market. Actually the question comes from a client of mine that's in Percival, Virginia, here in Loudoun County. Yeah, they were asking, when we talk about buyers and sellers markets, like what does that even mean? We assign these labels, I mean we understand what, what that means, right, if it's a seller's market. Yeah, you know, it's a good time to be uh, be a seller, not as much of a good time to be a buyer, and obviously the reverse is true for a buyer's market, but you know, what does it actually mean? And so uh, I just broke it down for him. Basically, when we talk about a buyer and seller's market, what we're talking about is the what we would call the saturation rate. So hypothetically, if we were to stop listings from coming on the market, but buyers kept buying at the same rate, how long before we ran out? We, we talk about that in a number of months. So if the number of months before we ran out in that hypothetical situation, if the number of months is zero to three months, that's what we would consider to be a seller's market. If that number is more than three months, less than six months, that's what we would call a neutral market, neither a buyer nor seller's market. And if it's greater than six months, that's what we would call traditionally a buyer's market. There is actual quantification for you know buyer or seller's market. There is an actual way to figure that out. And in Northern Virginia, we, we often will find that we, we, we are typically in a seller's market unless you're in some of the outlying communities, uh, you know, like some of the much, much smaller dots on the map, you know, call it like um, maybe a Stephen City or a Waterford, Virginia, or, you know, Lovettsville. I mean, you know, some of these smaller towns, you can, you can sometimes wind up in, you know, a much softer market, maybe even a buyer's market in some of these situations. And also, you know, the price point matters too. So if you're in a bread and butter price point for where you live, you know, here in, or for instance, in Percival, where, where my clients were asking, you know, a bread and butter price point there may be five or 600,000 or, you know, elsewhere, you know, in, in Winchester, where we also work, Winchester, Virginia, Stephen City, Frederick County, you know, that, that number may be closer to 250 to 300. But if you're well north of what the average price point is, you know, in, in let's say in Percival, if you've got a $3 million house or, in Frederick County, in Winchester, if you've got a, a $1 million property, the price point may push you into a buyer's market just simply by the price alone, uh, never mind the, the area you live in. So guys, if you ever have questions about uh, anything about real estate or terminology you hear, never hesitate to reach out. Again, I'm Alex Bracky with the Valor Group. Uh, always happy to help out. Thanks so much.